What is up guys? Welcome back to Inside Out Precision. Um, today's video is going to be on how to yoke tune and what yoke tuning is. Um, when I made the video a couple weeks ago on using the top hats for Matthews, I had a lot of people you know, message me saying, hey, you know, I, I don't want to move my rest out of center shot, but I don't have top hats because I don't I have a Hoyt or a Bowtech or you know any sort of bow that has this split yoke. Um, so that's what today's video is going to be, is how to yoke tune your bow, leave your rest in center, and get a bullet hole through paper. Um, so starting with what the yokes are. So the yokes are these, these cables that attach to the outside of the limb here. Um, a true two cam bow, like some of the Bowtex, um, they will have a split yoke on top and bottom. Um, a cam and a half system, like this is my old Hoyt. Uh, they will just have the yoke on top and that'll come into play when you start tuning. So basically what, what these are designed to do is, you know, by, by putting turns in, in one side here or out of the other side, it will lean my cam slightly. <clears throat> Pardon me. So let's say you're, you're shooting through paper, you know, this is assuming your cam timing is good. You know, I've got a good level tear in terms of elevation, like it's not ripping high or low, but I'm, I'm straight tail left. Um, on a Hoyt or any bow that just has a single split yoke on the top like this, what I would do is go to my press, relax the strings, so you're going to put the bow in the press, um, and you're going to put one, I always start with just one in, one out. So like I said, on a bow that has one split yoke, like a Hoyt like this on top, if I was ripping to the left, I would put one turn into the left yoke and one turn out of the right yoke. And it's important that you do even in and out. Because if all I did was turn one, uh, one twist into the left yoke, it would actually change my cam timing. It would open up my bottom cam a little bit. Um, so you don't want to mess with that because then you're going to start getting a high and low tear. But if I do even in and out, you know, I, I shorten this one when I when I put a twist into it, and then when I take one out of the right side, it lengthens the right side, so it doesn't mess with the timing. Um, now there is a limit to this. There's a couple things you need to be careful of. Um, for a right-handed shooter, if I lean the cam too far to the right, because we don't want an extreme amount of cam lean here. Like I don't want my cam sitting in there at like a 15 degree angle. And what happens is if I lean that cam too far to the right, the draw stop, when I, when I draw the bow, it will actually either barely hit or miss that cable altogether. And if it clicks past it, sometimes it'll actually like lock your bow at full draw and it's, it, pretty freaky, you gotta get somebody to kind of push on that cable and then have you let down. So generally speaking, you know, if you gotta do more than like three twists in and out, um, you know, you probably need to look at something else, like whether it's arrow spine or your grip or something like that. Um, like I said, we're not leaning the cam an extreme amount here, it's just a little bit right or left. Um, you know, if you've got like a three inch tear to the left, yoke tuning is not gonna be the solution. You know, we're talking, generally like an inch or less here. Um, so like I said, on a, on a single split harness here, you put twists in the side of the, the, you put twists in the cable of the direction of the tear. So if it's ripping left, you're gonna turn, put one in the left out of the right. If it's ripping to the right, you're gonna put one in the right and out of the left. And you can do a half too. If I'm just barely, you know, if I'm a quarter inch, I can just do a half in and out. Now on a bow that's a true two cam system, because um, Hoyts are actually what they call a cam and a half system, a true two cam is gonna have a split harness on top and bottom. On a split harness like that, again, using the tail left tear, I would actually only put twists into the left, but I'm gonna do it top and bottom. So let's say I needed, I thought I needed to do one full twist, well I would do half, half of a twist into the left yoke on the, the top cam, and half of a twist into the left yoke on the bottom cam because then it's gonna keep that timing the same. Um, so on a true two cam with two split harnesses, you're gonna, you know, whatever you do to the top cam, you're gonna do to the bottom cam. Now generally you don't need to go in and out um, because you're gonna do it to both sides. You don't, you know, as long as you shorten both of them the same, your timing should remain good and you're, you'll still have good, you know, level knock, um, knock height through paper. So, I hope that kind of clears it up. You do need a press to do this. Um, if you don't have one, you know, your local shop, they should know how to do this. If they don't, um, either have them watch this video or have them call their Hoyt rep and, or, you know, whatever rep it is and, and ask them, you know, hey, 
you know, can I put twists in the yoke? And I guarantee you they'll, they'll tell you, yes, that's how you're supposed to tune these. Um, I know a lot of people freak out about cam lean, but if you watch my, my video on like tuning myths in the past, these bows are designed to shoot with some cam lean. As long as it does it the exact same every time, it's not going to hurt anything. In fact, it's like I said, it's designed to do that. Um, so don't be afraid of a little bit of cam lean. Like I said, if it's really severe, that's not good because you risk the chance of it derailing. Um, you also risk the chance, like I said, of you know that draw stop missing the cable and then it pulls back, you know, it clicks past this cable when you draw and then the bow can lock up or it makes noise and it's just, it's no bueno. So hopefully that clears up some, uh, some questions on yoke tuning. It's really simple to do, um, you know, not a lot of people have a press, but if you do and you're tuning at home, that's, that's the method to get a bow with yokes to tune while leaving your rest in center shot. Um, sometimes it'll overcorrect the problem, like it'll go you know half in, half out, and all of a sudden now you're ripping to the right. If that's the case, like if I'm just ripping you know, an eighth of an inch to the left, I'm probably just gonna micro adjust that in my rest. So I'd move my rest like a 32nd of an inch you know, to the right to get rid of that tail left tear. Um, I always say with center shot, you know, as long as you're within about a 16th to an eighth inside or outside, it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, you know, it's nice to have everything just right down the middle and be able to leave it there and, and just mess with the yokes. But like I said, if you're just micro adjusting it a little bit one way or the other, it's really not going to hurt anything. So I hope that clears up some questions. If you guys have any more questions on it, either DM me on Instagram or uh, hit that comment section below here. Um, had a lot of head of, good head of steam lately. Um, we really appreciate all the views and all the comments. I try to engage as much as I can. Um, so yeah, hit that comment section. Tell us if you like this video, um, what you want to see more of, etc. So as usual, guys, keep them in the middle. Precision is a decision, and I'll see you on the range.